Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to be finishing off our Gmail client. Finally, I know I've been uh, very busy the past few months with school, uh, injury, recovery, bunch of stuff like that. So anyways, guys, let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is head on over to Google or Yahoo Mail. I mean, not Yahoo Mail, Yahoo search engine, if you use that. Uh, and we're going to search for Java Mail API and the JAF 1.1. So I'm going to put these links in the description. You guys just want to go ahead and download it. Fairly simple. Uh, oh, actually this one moved to java.net. So I'll put the new uh, the new link in the description. Please confirm. Yes. Uh, okay. And now it's loaded up. You guys want to download uh, Java Mail, uh, I guess 1.5. Uh, whichever the, uh, the most recent one is by the time of uh, you visiting the website is what you want to download. So once you have that, you want to go ahead and download the JAF 1.1. You want to scroll down, just click on download, uh, accept the license agreement, and you're good to go. Once you've accepted, downloaded, and extracted, you should end up with two files, uh, javax.mail and activation.jar. So the first thing you want to do once you've got them, open up your uh, documents folder, browse to wherever your Nepean's project is saved. Mine is saved in all DR, uh, my docs, uh, Nepean's projects, Gmail clients. You want to create a folder called lib for libraries. And you just want to dump these two folders straight into here. So there you go, let's go. So basically these two jars handle all the mail sending. Um, so once you have them, you have to tell NetBeans that, hey, we are using these libraries. So you want to right click on your project, go down to properties, and you just want to look for the library tab, which is the second one. And I don't know why this keeps happening every time I open it up, but yours should look something like this. Then you're going to go on add jar slash folder, navigate to where you just copied and pasted those two files, and you just want to control click on both of them, click on open, import, and you guys will now notice that it has been imported. Actually, you won't notice until you start typing code, but you guys probably saw a really quick uh, progress bar. So now that, uh, now that we've got our two uh, libraries imported, the next step is to create a new class. So we're going to go right click, new, Java class, and we're just going to name this class send email or, or anything that you guys want to call it. I'm going to clean this up because uh, that means. What are you guys doing here? There we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a parameterized constructor. So send email. And we're going to start typing in a few parameters. So the first parameter is string to. So who the message is going to be sent to. The second one is going to be uh, string to string subject, subject of the email. And lastly, string uh, MSG for string message. Now, before we actually start getting uh, into code on our parameterized constructor, in our constructor, we're gonna create two variables. The first being your username, and the second being your password. So we're gonna go ahead and type in private string user, and then private, actually, I'm just gonna copy and paste. So, bam, bam. So we're gonna change the second one to uh, password, or just pass, I guess. And we're going to make them equal to your username and password. So for your username, so the email I'm going to use is my Gmail email, Gmail email for the YouTube channel. So it's v3rt3xta at gmail.com. Now your password is obviously your password for that associated account. And guess what, guys? I am not going to be typing in my password. Not that it matters anyways. Uh, because there's nothing important on there. So if you guys want to send us an email, do not send it to this account because we will most likely not be reading it since it's just flooded with uh, subscribers and stuff. Uh, so you want to type in your Gmail password right here. I don't know, a couple of you guys just tried that as a password. No, nope. you guys would have noticed that it failed. Okay, so you want to type in your associated password for the account that you guys chose, okay? Now, once we get to our parameterized constructor, we're going to start typing some code. So the first thing we're going to do is create a properties file. So we're going to call this properties prop is equal to new properties. There you go. And the reason why we do this is because we're going to store all the information for the Gmail service inside these properties. So I'm going to go ahead and type this out and you just want to copy and paste it in your own project. Okay guys, so this is what it should look like. Now this is all information for the Gmail service. It's got uh, SSL, authentication, host and port information. If you guys want to change this to a Yahoo Mail client, you'll have to look up the information for the Yahoo Mail um, uh, service, all the information, the ports, the host, which is probably smtv.yahoomail.com or something, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna move on right now. So we're gonna create a session, which is part of the, I believe either the Java X or the activation, um, 
activation library, one of these two. I can't really remember. But we're going to create a session. So we're going to call it session and just name it session is equal to session dot get instance. There you guys go. You can see it takes a properties file as the parameters, one of the parameters. So let's just go ahead. Okay, it's not actually picking up right now. But we're going to type in props. Then the second one is going to be new Java X dot mail dot authenticator, which is the first one that you guys can see right there. There you go. Now it's going to automatically add in these brackets and oh, that was horrible. After the second bracket, you want to make sure you have a closing uh, regular bracket then a semicolon. So basically what's going to go on here is we're going to check your authentication uh, using all this properties uh, information right here. So we're going to check if your username and password is correct. So inside this uh, brackets right here, we're going to create a protected variable, I guess. And it's going to be called Java X dot mail dot password authentication we're going to leave a space so we're going to type in get password or uh, I can't spell authentication get password authentication and it should give you a little underline you guys don't have to worry about that it tells you that it wants to add override uh, doesn't really matter no big deal so you guys can see you're going to get an error it's going to tell you missing a return statement because you do have to return something so what we're going to return is return you and you're basically going to type in java x.mail.password authentication, open close brackets, and inside these brackets, we're going to type in user and pass, which is basically taking in uh, your email and your password. And it's going to do the whole authentication step and uh, make sure it is all correct. Now, on to the next part, which is the fun stuff sending your actual email. Fantastic. Pretty short line of code. Uh, so we're going to create a try and catch, okay, so you might as well just do that now, catch, oh, and I'm just going to catch a generic exception because I'm not too worried. Okay guys, so we're going to create a message, so message, message is equal to new mime, uh, new mime message, open close brackets, and for a parameter we're going to type in session, okay. The last bit of code is the best stuff because this is where you type in your message um, and everything like that so we're going to type in firstly message dot sent oh did I make a mistake message dot set set from oh okay message dot set from I thought it was uh, sent from so, okay so message dot set from is who the message is from so at this point, you can type in your company name. You can type in no reply at uh, technicindustries.com, no reply at, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, whatever you want to show up on the other person's email. Okay. So in here, we're going to create a new uh, in internet address. Open close brackets and it takes in a string. We probably have to add an import for this as well. Imports galore. So yep add an import now in here is where you type in something like no reply at gmail.com okay we're just gonna type in something generic and we'll play around with it a bit later okay don't have to worry about it right now okay guys so the second one is message dot set recipient so it's the second one guys uh, the first bit comes out correct the second bits not the second bit is uh, inter internet address just same as above except we are passing a string so uh, the string that we're going to pass is who the message is going to be sent to so it's basically this parameter on the top which is to and that's going to be specified when you actually use um, this class so the third one and uh, is it the last one no the next one is the subject so message dot set subject and this just takes a simple uh, string so we're gonna call this one sub and then lastly it's message dot set text okay there we go and in this last one it is basically MSG okay now once we have all the information stored the next thing is to actually send it so we're gonna be using transport dot send message oh actually because we compiled everything nicely in the um, 
in this bit right here, in this message, we don't actually need everything else. We just need message on its own. And then once it is done, we're gonna S out um, something like mail sent, okay? Fantastic. Now you guys can add uh, um, an exception. We're gonna do that. Oh, I deleted my S out. Okay, so lastly, we need to obviously cater for exceptions. We probably will get an error. So we're just gonna S out whatever the error is. I don't care. Great, now that we have our actual file, the last thing to do is to actually type it in into our uh, GUI. So we're gonna go into the send button, right click, events, mouse, mouse, uh, it's called mouse released. And we are going to, oh my word, NetBeans. Okay guys, so inside our mouse, uh, mouse button released method, we're just gonna type in send email, SE is equal to new send email. And because it's a parameterized constructor, we actually have to type in three parameters. So I'm just gonna type in uh, three, actually I'm not gonna type in any parameters. Um, okay guys, so in these three, uh, in this parameter right here, we're gonna type in um, these three parameters. So it's gonna be the who the message is sent to, the subject, and the actual message itself. So you guys can see we have two subject, actually no, this is not subject, this is CC. Um, I actually think I made a mistake in, in the file. This should actually be subject guys, so if you made the same mistake that I did with CC, uh, you guys might want to change it, or you can leave it, doesn't really matter. I guess you can put a generic subject if you want. So anyways, uh, the first one is going to be 2. So the 2 text box is called 2 email. So I'm basically just going to type in 2 email dot get text, and that's going to get whatever text is inside that email text box. The second one is a subject uh, email, and I called it CC, so that was clearly my intent. It wasn't a mistake. Um, but I don't want it to be CC, I want it to be sub email. So I'm just going to copy that. And once again, it's the same bit of code sub email dot get text. And then lastly, it is uh, your message, which is jtext area one dot set text, or get text. You obviously can take your time and uh, make sure it is all nicely formatted. So once we have that, we are good to send our email. So let's run our program. Hopefully there's no errors. And I'm just gonna type in who this message is gonna be sent to. So I'm gonna send this to technique development at gmail.com. My subject is gonna be hello. And this is a test of our Gmail client. Whoops. Gmail client. And then we're gonna go ahead and click the send button. So once you click the send, it's going to run our program. There we go. Ah, there we go. You guys can see I have username and password not accepted. So I'm just gonna copy this. I don't have to keep retyping it. As you guys remember, you have to type in your correct username and password in this field right here, and I didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and type it out now. You guys won't be able to see it. Okay guys, I typed out my username and password. And we're gonna try this again. So I'm gonna go with hello. Testing one two three. Oops, one two three. Click on send. It's going to do some uh, some processing in the background, and we get another error. Okay, now this error, as you guys can see, is Java Excellent Mail authentication failed exception. So what does that mean? Well, basically, if we go into our email account, which is my inbox right here, I should get an email anytime soon saying, "Hey, someone tried to access your email account." So when uh, when you try to send yourself an email through this uh, through this web page, it's going to give you a um, a message. Okay, so it's going to tell you you know someone tried to access your account. If this wasn't you, it is you, and it's going to tell you that you need to enable um, less secure app. So it's going to give you a link right here. You're going to click on this and you're going to open it. Now a common mistake I made I made this mistake quite a few times. You guys can see on the top right hand side if you have more than one account. I have three accounts. Okay. You must make sure that you're on your correct email account. So when I click on it, you guys can see it's turned off by default. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to update, updated. Okay, guys, you're going to get this little email that says, uh, you know, it's been enabled. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this email. And I'm going to switch over to the account which I'm sending the email to. So I'm sending my email to Technique Development. So I'm going to log on to that account. There we go right there. Okay, guys, so I've typed up my email. I'm going to click on send. It's going to send it to my email address. That's techniquedevelopment at gmail.com. It's going to pop up a little text at the bottom saying, hey, your mail has been sent. Uh, oh, there we go. Popped up at the bottom. 
once you log into your email, you guys will see, bam, it has been sent. Now, if you guys have a vast antivirus like I do, it automatically scans your email uh, from your computer and it actually gives you this link. It's been checked for viruses, which it has. If you've launched it for the first time and you have a vast, uh, a vast running, it'll pop up a little message saying, hey, we've uh, double checked your email and made sure that there are no errors. So there you go, guys. This is how you send emails to um, any email address that you want. I'm going to send an email to Lala at gmail.com. Please, guys, email him, even if it's just garbage. And I'm going to tell him, check out this cool app. And we're going to send that off to him. Let's see if it actually works. I don't know if this is his email, guys. I don't memorize people's emails. I'm assuming that it is. Okay guys, there you go, you got the email like almost instantly after I said it. He doesn't even know what I made, what a great partner. And uh, there you guys go, you can see the email that I sent from the V3RTTXDA Gmail account. It says this is a test and it's been checked by a vast antivirus software. So there you guys go. Okay guys, so that's how you send emails to any email address in the universe. Um, as long as you enable authentication for your own account or for the account that your emails are being sent from, then you are good to go. And if you guys are wondering, you know, why would I ever need to use this? Um, well, it's great to have if you want to report bugs from your app, directly from your application, or if you just want to create an email to client, uh, you know, for your final school year project, whatever. It's a great project to do. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you didn't already, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.